It feels like I've talked about I Spit on Your Grave probably a thousand times over the years, but I'm going to talk about it again because Ronin Films has released a brand new Blu-ray of the film that is now being distributed by MVD. Uh, they also have a 4K coming out, so probably talking about it again in the future. But for now, we're going to touch base on this. And I don't know what I can say about this movie that hasn't already been said a million times over, probably a million times over by me, but... It's basically a writer goes out to BFE to write a book, and the townspeople, are, you know, end up being pretty nasty individuals, and a little horde of them kind of corners her up in the woods and does very unspeakable things to her, and then she goes back for revenge because the guy that's a little slow in the group doesn't finish the job when he's supposed to. This was, of course, directed by Mears Zarchi, and it stars Camille Keaton, who I had the opportunity of meeting in a somewhat slightly awkward inter, uh, interaction back in like 2012 at a full moon horror convention in uh, Nashville. But uh, it's it's definitely something that set the tone for these type of movies. Very grindhouses, uh, grindhouses, very graphic, probably one of the more disturbing uh, rape scenes that you're probably going to ever see. And that's probably next to Irreversible is probably like one of the worst ones in Looking back now, maybe it's not even like that graphic to what we've seen now. But but like when it happens, it's definitely something that stands out. It's not erotic to anybody, yet, I don't think at all. Sometimes you get them scenes where, you know, they seem like they're still trying to wink at the camera a little bit in these horror films. This one here is just straight up brutal. And it's terrible to watch. And it still, over the years, has not got any better, no matter how many times you see it. But it has to be that bad because it wants you to be on this girl's side that much more. When she goes back for her revenge on these people. Which is very rewarding when that happens. Uh, and of course now with this version of it. The new thing about it is that it has a 4K uh, transfer from the original camera negative. I didn't think it looked any better than the old Anchor Bay Blu-ray. It does. Which is great. So if you're looking for even higher picture quality. This is probably what you want to get. Because, or at least till the 4K comes out. Because... I know always before, you know, like the old Blu-rays look good and they look better than DVDs, but you got to think they were using old technology and stuff was like 2K at best, and now it's like 4K, so they're pulling every little last ounce of, of, of definition they can get, and this definitely has it. So now you can see the terrible graphic stuff that happens to this poor woman and the stuff she does to the people that do it later on in the purest of picture quality, which is always a good time. Uh, the movie itself, like I said, violent, brutal. Probably four out of five for me. And it's not even a movie like you enjoy watching, to be honest with you. I've seen it a million times just because, like, my friends want to watch it sometimes. Or I've had a show somebody new that hasn't seen it, the movie, before. But it definitely earns its reputation, and it's four out of five. Just never watch the sequel. I know that. We'll save that for another video because I think that there's a Blu-ray of it coming out or out right now. So, from these guys. And we'll get to that bridge when, when we get to it. But... For now, the original, I Spit on Your Grave, is on a brand new Blu-ray release, 1978. Looks great with 4K scan. If you like a good rape and revenge movie, that's something for date night. Then you can't go wrong with this. Uh, maybe you can throw it up alongside one night with Gator Bait as a nice little one-two combo. But uh, this thing, from what I can guess, here it has like a new locations featurette. And that's like the only new thing. Like the scan is new and the location feature is new. Everything else seems to be carried over from the old stuff, which is audio commentary with the director. And my personal favorite thing that's on this is audio commentary with Joe Bob Briggs, which I watch this movie sometimes with just that audio commentary on because why not? Interviews with Mears Archie, uh, you know, I Spit on Your Grave, like featurettes, you know, it was on the other stuff. Alternative main title, theatrical trailer, TV spot, radio, still gallery. Everything you've done seen. But... It comes in a nice new transfer. So it's Ronin Films. It's MVD's distribution now. Uh, everything else kind of looks identical a little bit to the old Anchor Bay Blu-ray. But I promise you the picture quality is better. So it's not spit on your grave. It's out now. Pick it up if you would like something a little bit better than what you had before.